my Sherbet Colours for a Sweet Summertime card using inlay die cutting. I'll be using the Summertime die from Simon System, which is part of the new Sending Sunshine release from Simon. I'll leave links to the products I'm using today in the description below and in addition there's a coordinating blog post up on my blog, which is part of a blog hop. I was inspired by my Pinterest colour board to pull out a selection of summery colours. You could use cardstock or inks for this card. I pulled out both initially. Cotton candy, burnt orange, banana and mint card. And then pale blush pink, sunkissed, duckling and mint for inks. I decided to go with the inks as I like the softer pasta look you get from blending dye inks onto card. I cut four rectangles of Nina Solar White card and using a mini round foam blending tool, blended the four inks onto the card. Here's the panel I've just blended with Sunkist ink. As you can see, the coverage is slightly uneven, but the advantage of dye inks are that they smooth out and soften as they dry. Here are four panels that I actually blended last night and have had time to dry, and you can clearly see the difference between the Sunkist panel that I have just blended and the dry one. So these four panels I blended last night with pale blush pink, duckling, mint and Sunkist will be the ones I use for die cutting. However, as I mentioned before, you could save the ink blending step and use coloured card instead. I love the graphic style of the summertime die. I wanted to play around with die cutting the four colours and using parts of each colour and inlaying them to complete the die cut. You could create just one of these and foam mount it on the front of a card for a fun summary, fun summary focal point. However, I wanted to play around with the colours a little more and create four of the summertime die and mount them on the front of a card. To do this you need only to cut the summertime die from each of the colour of card once and then keep all the pieces. I planned out where to place each of the four colours and then add a tape runner adhesive to a piece of Nina Solar White card. For me this is the quickest, less messy way of adhering all the pieces together. However you could have added a double sided adhesive to the back of the four colours of card before die cutting them. The main aim here is to make sure that each of the four pieces is buttered right up against its neighbours to ensure that you don't see any white card peeking out. In fact, on hindsight, it might have been better to have used a piece of colour card for the base, as it would have been less visible if any were showing. I used my gunnetine to trim a tiny slither from the edges to ensure a nice straight uniform finish to the sides. Then it was simply a case of jigsawing the letters back into place. For each colour, I moved the matching coloured letters over one place. For example, the sunkissed die cut sits in the top left hand corner of the panel, and so I added the sunkissed S, U, and M letters from the first line of the word one place to the right and fitted them into the duckling die cut. For the second line of the word I moved the letters over two places and for the third, third line of the word I moved them over three places. This way each summertime die cut consisted of four different colours of ink blended card, the outline piece, the top line, the middle line and finally the bottom line. This summertime panel didn't really need much embellishment as I think it is showcased best by keeping it clean and simple. However, I decided to add a small add-on sentiment using the Four Seasons Saying set. This set has a variety of useful sayings for use throughout the year, and I thought the is the best would work perfectly for this card. I placed a piece of slate card in the Mini Misty and treated it with an anti-static bag. I'm going to emboss this sentiment and the anti-static powder will help prevent embossing powder sticking where I don't want it to. I then stamped the sentiment twice in clear embossing ink to get a good impression and sprinkled on white embossing powder before heat setting and trimming to a skinny banner with a ruler and scalpel. I then added foam adhesive to the back and adhered it to the centre of the card. I applied range of multimedia matte to the back of the panel and adhered a piece of fun foam. The fun foam will support the front panel of the card and ensure it doesn't sag when posted. I then added glue to the back of the fun foam and in turn added the panel to a Nina Solar White £110 card base. As a final embellishment I dug around my enamel dot stash and added a trio which turned with the colours and added them surrounding the sentiment strip. And that completes this card using Sherbet ink blended colours and inlay die cutting to create a fun summertime card. I'll leave links in the YouTube description below to the products that I've used today, as well as a link to the coordinating blog post over at rhymedudadesign.com. And as I mentioned, this blog post is part of a hop with giveaways, so head on over there to take part. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, I'd be delighted if you subscribe to this channel. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.